Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another exhumed movie review. I'm gonna go with my Cabrellas title suggestion of exhumed. I just like the way it sounded. Um, gonna go with it. Um, review of I Walked With a Zombie. Before I do that though, I wanna say a quick thank you to my creepy patron peeps for your support of my channel. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you wanna find out the perks of being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link in the description box. There will also be a clickable link on the screen at the end of the video. So I Walked With a Zombie is about a Canadian nurse who is hired to care for the wife of a sugar plantation owner who has been acting strangely on a Caribbean island. I really liked it. It was, it was moody and atmospheric. Um, even though it was in black and white, I just feel like, I don't know, it just kind of had like this overcast kind of feeling to it, even though this is supposed to be set in the Caribbean and you feel like it should be sunshiny and tropical and things like that but I always felt like the wind was always howling and it was kind of just spooky on the plantation I really liked that and um often there was a lot of chanting and drums in the background so basically what we have going on is like the sugar plantation owner um and his family and everything are kind of set against uh the help and the natives of the island who are into voodoo in the movie and, and things like that um, and they are people of color and uh, after their work is done they all gather together and uh, pray to their gods or you know whatever it is they're doing in the movie I know I sound like I'm being completely like ignorant or something but like <laughs> the movie does not give that much information about what they're doing um, so this is what they're doing in the movie. Sorry if I sound like an asshole. Um, <laughs> but that's what they're doing. Um, so a lot of times you can hear like when other stuff is going on chanting and drums in the background and I feel like that adds a lot of tension to the movie. Like you just feel like there, it just gives you that feeling that there's something else going on beneath the surface that we don't know about that the movie is going to reveal. And the woman that plays Jessica, who is the sugar plantation owners, catatonic wife is flippin gorgeous i love love the way she looks i love the dress that they put her in um especially just like how she stands and she's she's just like gorgeous but just not there um obviously because she's like catatonic or in the movie you know they think that she is a zombie um, but it, she just has like this very eerie, like almost kind of like gothic look about her. I really like that. I feel like this movie, like I just, for this movie, I feel like it moved way too fast. Um, and this is not something that's entirely new for these types of older movies, but I feel like um, the nurse Betsy and the sugar plantation owner Paul fell in love way too quick, <laughs> fell in love way too quickly. You know, like in these older kind of movies, like the characters will be in like two or three scenes together and then suddenly they're madly in love and normally I don't care but for some reason like I just had a problem with it in this movie I just feel like <laughs> the filmmakers were kind of just like well just imagine that they spent a lot of time together just you know when the cameras weren't rolling and now they're in love or something um, and I just to me it just didn't really feel like a horror film at all actually it felt more just like a family drama I feel like that's mostly what was happening. There's a lot of drama between how Jessica got in the state that she is and uh, there's this like thing with, you know, she was having an affair with Paul's brother and then the mom uh, thinking that Jessica was gonna run away with her younger son goes to the voodoo people and she thinks that she got her turned into a zombie and it just, feels like more of a family drama than a horror movie. And then as far as the ending, I feel like a whole lot doesn't happen through like the middle part of the movie and then the ending kind of just barrels at you and throws all this information at you. And it just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't well spaced out. And you know, it wasn't, like I just feel like things should have been like revealed little by little and you really don't get that much information revealed to you in the middle of the movie. It's all at the end, pretty much, where it all comes out onto the table and everything is explained and then all of a sudden it ends. Um, yeah, 
I didn't like it. So was I watched with the zombie worth it? Uh, not for me. This is definitely an unpopular opinion. I can tell. Um, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't thrilled with this one. Um, on IMDb, it has a 7.2 out of 10, and on Rotten Tomatoes, it has a 92% critic score and a 73% audience score, so please do not take my word for this one. I think it's just me. Um, <laughs> you can watch this on Amazon if you want. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description box for you. So if you've seen I Walked with a Zombie, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought about it. Um, as always, you can find me at all the normal social media places. The links to those will be in the description box. You can find me on my blog at NightmareMaven.com, as a contributing writer at MorbidlyBeautiful.com, and on Patreon.com slash NightmareMaven if you want to check that out and support the channel. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday through Friday. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay strange. Bye!